What's up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Uh, before I get started here, I wanted to apologize for not getting much content out. I um, have just had a lot of changes going on. You know how it is. Things happen. Um, but here we are. Just ask you to bear with me. I'm going to do my best to just dig my heels in and, and start cranking out some content for you guys. Uh, just so I can share some thoughts and just some, you know, possible hacks that I found that might, uh, that I'm planning on having work for me. Uh, I found one thing that may or may not work out. We don't, you know, I don't know, but I can just uh, tell you it, this is what happened the last time for me, this last bull run 2021, uh, what I was able to do. Uh, during that time now again this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor this is only entertainment and again just me looking at things and coming up with my crazy wild ideas that's it so anyway that being said let's get into it now um, today the market is up it's I mean, it's really, really green, as you can say, <laughs> we can, as we can see here, which is a good thing. I mean, um, it's Sunday, but hey, the crypto market never sleeps, um, and everything's following Bitcoin's moves here for the most part. Uh, XRP has popped up a little bit, um, sitting at forty-seven cents. Uh, personally, and I could be wrong, guys, but um, I, I don't think this is necessarily going to last. Uh, or in other words, we're not headed to a bull run right now. Uh, it's very possible we might see 50 plus cents. I mean, I think that's definitely uh, possible, but I believe we'll probably come back down in the, you know, mid to lower 40s again, uh, if that does happen. There is an expectation that the case will be over in July sometimes, uh, sometime, but hey, that's, We'll, we'll see. That's yet to be seen. Um, but let me get to something that I found very interesting. Now, I've looked at several different uh, coins compared to XRP, right? And I'm looking at the coins that we know have gone on bull runs in the past. Uh, they have yet to uh, not follow the, the bull run arc. The only one that I have found that that looks uh, reliable is Cardano for what I'm going to talk about here. So before I'll preface it with our purpose for being in the crypto market is to make money. Now, um, what I experienced in 2021 is that Cardano ran before XRP did. And as we can see here, this is that period. Okay. Between uh, February 3rd and uh, February is this 20, uh, 27th Cardano went from 34 cents right yeah 34 cents to a uh, dollar and 32 cents okay now we're somewhat in that same area I think um, now don't get me wrong I don't again I'm not thinking that we're going to see a bull run right now. I don't think it's time. I think I personally believe we're going to see another bull run probably in the two, uh, 2024. Um, so if, if, if the whole, <laughs> if all of the U S doesn't <clears throat> completely crash and the dollar goes to zero, I mean, we'll see. But what I'm getting at here is that when Cardano went on its run, I sold somewhere in here. I sold about a dollar, it was like a dollar thirty something, right? It was before XRP ran. I was able to take that money with XRP still being down uh, in this area. I bought XRP and it it did its run, right? A little well, the peak that it hit in 2021. It was supposed to go higher. Of course, we all got uh, kind of screwed on that. You know, I know I was expecting it to do when it actually when it came back down here. And it did this. I just knew XRP was on its way, right? But <clears throat> I had the opportunity to sell. Actually, um, 
it was at a dollar ninety something when I saw it. I was actually gonna, I was thinking about selling it at that point, but I didn't because I was expecting it to go to ten dollars or something like that. But it never did, obviously. My point is, is that I was able to roll the pro the profits from Cardano into XRP and buy just that much more. Now I already had my bags of XRP sitting aside, but I, I was able to buy a decent amount of Cardano, nothing, you know, life shattering, but I was able to buy a decent amount and then roll that profit into XRP, which actually just increased uh, my overall bag, right? Just from uh, watching this. And it was purely by accident, purely by accident. Um, now, the reason I'm saying this is so you guys can see um, the the potential of actually getting profit and then rolling it into and, and in this case obviously XRP right which is going to increase your bag now I know it is a bit scary to kind of play around with this uh, this is definitely not for the faint of heart but um, I believe it's uh, it's it may happen again during this next bull run I'm gonna keep my eyes on it but I'm going to try it again we'll, we'll see what happens again I don't want you guys to think that I'm suggesting you do this but this is what I'm going to do um, I have a another bag of, of ADA I'm sitting on just kind of waiting I don't know when this next bull run is gonna happen exactly but again I think it'll be somewhere in 20 uh, 2024 maybe late 2023 and uh, see if I can maximize it again do this kind of catch this wave again well um, so we'll see uh, hopefully it works out um, now I just wanted to get into a little bit of news here and just things that are going on you guys are already aware of what's going on with XRP and all that and I, and I wanted to also say guys definitely keep your minds on the on the fact that these uh headlines are just that they're headlines and you know don't don't get uh too caught up with what they're saying and you know we all know this we all watch blockchain back and i'm going to tell you he really kind of brought it into reality the you know just the fact that the market is going to move the way it moves regardless of what headlines are out there anything like that the only thing i've ever seen actually uh affect a coin is when a, a major influencer mentions it or you know or Elon Musk or something like that I've seen BitBoy mention something and then all of a sudden the prices go up on whatever coin uh, whether that's you know ethical or not you know I'm not speaking on that but just that's just what I've seen and um, I now I, I know to kind of steer clear of basing my purchases or sales on what's happening or what's being said in the uh, in the media and whatnot it is very difficult to do that it's so difficult because sometimes you might see a coin do uh, a, a little bit of a move in the direction that the media is pointing you but you 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 know I've just learned to kind of keep myself calm and just wait and, and kind of watch so um, here now whales bullish on xrp as ripple versus sec battles uh, battle nears anxiously anticipated in now so true a lot of people are anxious about this anticipating the end but this part right here is also true um, it says however on chain stats reveal fading hype for the alt now this this is happening because we've been hearing this over and over and over again right people are getting tired of it um, it's kind of like crying wolf you know after so many times you just don't react to it anymore and I think that's where where we're sitting right now um, yeah it'll be a great thing for for the the case to end and XRP or rather ripple to win it all um, but we know that's not likely to happen most likely I believe what will end up happening is some of the previous sales of XRP will be considered security and then later sales uh, you know obviously XRP today will say 
just not a security. It's, you know, I think that's very possible to happen, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, now, Jeremy Hogan uh, chimed in. He said, uh, says here, while crypto community watches the ongoing battle versus, uh, I'm sorry, ongoing Ripple versus SEC legal fight, attorney Jeremy Hogan recently forecasted that the case was resolved by July 2023. Hogan was reacting to the latest clip where Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, stated that the lawsuit would end in the coming weeks. And I think this is what, uh, this is why we're seeing XRP kind of uh, take a, a little bit of a bump. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, so I think that's why we saw it kind of pop up a little bit. But I mean, you know, it's not much, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a little bit of a rise, but uh, that's, you know, a little bit of excitement about what's going on. Now, again, guys, the, the, the main thing here, the main theme here is to just stay calm, right? Don't get overly excited. Don't, um, don't base anything on what you're seeing in the news or anything like that, because it's easy to get wrong footed when it comes to this. Um, we are absolutely ready for this all to be over with. But again, we still have a lot of, of water to wade through here. We, we have this high inflation. The, co the country is in turmoil. Uh, there's a lot, guys. I mean, very likely we're going to see a serious recession uh, coming up. I mean, who knows what the Fed's going to actually do? Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to say. And, and um, it, you know, it's very difficult to say what's going to happen. I, I think we're going to see some lower prices, with, especially with XRP, with, with the whole market um in general so um the i wouldn't buy like right now i'm not really a buyer uh in 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 these with, with these prices because i think personally that we're on the higher end of 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 what's going on kind of right now um in the next few months i think things are going to kind of calm down and and uh and and start to drop a little bit uh, even now in relation to the case possibly ending in July um, there who knows if that will actually happen it's very possible but um, as we can see right here it says the whales are bullish on XRP right we see um, where is it just in XRP whales are on the move big holders of 10 to 100 million XRP have been accumulating buying over 52 million XRP 22.9 million in just three weeks with XRP breaking resistance at 46 cents. Now, what I've noticed in the past is these whales move together. They are coordinated in there and in all of their buying and their selling and things like that, right? They don't do their things to benefit us. They do their things um, to make money off of us. So when they start buying, we start buying, but you know, only to basically dump on us, right? That's the way I look at it. I could be wrong. Again, I'm not an advisor. You know, I could be very wrong with this, but just in, in the past, I've seen this over and over again. It plays out the way it plays out. They start buying, we get excited, then they dump. Now, I think the lawsuit ending will be a situation of uh, what is it by the uh, by the rumor sell the news um, I think that's we're gonna work what we're gonna be looking at because the case ending in July is outside of that natural movement of the market and I don't believe the bull run is gonna happen in July I, I just don't believe that at all um, Again, it could we you know we're we're obviously most likely going to see a pop in price, but we're not going to see a two dollar or a five dollar XRP. We're not. I don't believe we're going to see that. I think that will happen later, once the market really kind of. It, it's what I've noticed is that it seems like the market just kind of builds up. It 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 just kind of coils up and then it 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 you know it springs out of that but it's never um with all of this big news that happens okay 
So again, I could be wrong, but that's just in the in the what I've seen in the past. So anyway, th just wanted to go with that and see. Another thing here, Biden will end end up killing it. Serious crypto warning could spell chaos for the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum is debt ceiling uh, deal reached. See, we're we're again. This is a this is a uh, uh, a headline, but overall, the situation with the economy, the government, all of that stuff, it's not good, right? Uh, people don't buy anything when they're hurting. So, and then also the propagation of the knowledge of crypto doesn't necessarily happen when things are bad. It only happens when things are good. So. Again, I think it would be wise to just kind of sit back, watch, and just see how the, all of this pans out. Uh, we do have a bit of good news here. Ron DeSantis gives crypto hope. The Republican governor, governor of Florida and U.S. presidential hopeful has just pledged to support people's right to trade in digital assets like Bitcoin. So Ron DeSantis has already announced his bid on the uh U.S. President, uh, uh, presidential, you know, in the presidential race. Um, and I think that'll be good for the, for the country. Uh, I, I like everything that he's done in Florida. Uh, nobody's perfect. Obviously, everybody has their their things. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm endorsing anybody. You know, I liked I like the way Trump did things. Uh, I think our economy was great during his time. Um, obviously Biden's time has been absolutely horrible. I mean, the whole country looks like it has, I mean, has hit, a uh, uh, absolute rock bottom. I don't think in any time in history has this country been as bad as it is now, depending on how you, you know, your morals work or the way you see things. My outlook is that this country is in worse shape than it's ever been in history. And I'm talking across the board. Whether it's the economy, the uh, moralistic, you know, values and whatnot, it's just absolutely horrible. And I really hope that we uh, we end up coming out of this. Um, but despite that, if we do get, say, a Ron DeSantis or you know, or possibly Trump getting back in, I personally think the economy is going to do better. I I, you know, I think that um, a lot of the stuff that we're seeing right now uh, will be. I mean, essentially forgotten about within about a year or two of uh, either one of these two getting in office. Um, but who knows? Who knows what will happen? Um, I'm sure some of you out there who like Biden will probably not like the video. But hey, I'm sorry. I have my opinion and I'm definitely uh, within my right to express it. So that being said, guys, uh, keep your wits about you. Don't let yourself get led into doing something that's going to be against your your overall hopes and desire for your future. That's all I have to say, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit long, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit the uh, like and subscribe. And thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.